Hey guys, Tim Lurch here. People will ask me about this guitar. This is a guitar made by Barry Gresbick. It's The name is Grez Guitars. Uh, this is a beautiful guitar that Barry made for me. Um, you could go to his website, you'll you'll see pictures of it and also find out what model it is. But basically it's a it's an ES350T type guitar, so, uh, I think it's 16 inch bout. Um, and uh, these are Lawler P90s and uh, it's kind of Gibson-esque, but it's made by Barry Grez, Bick. Grez Guitars. I wanted to talk today about uh, kind of my idea of solo guitar because I know that I, I use this term. Um, some people might say chord melody Chord melody is kind of a, I'm not really fond of the term, although I've lately embraced it a little more because people are reluctant to, to stop using it and it means something to people. Unfortunately, sometimes I think the thing it means is not so helpful, but I'm willing to, to at least use the term or recognize the term. Basically, it means that you've mixed your melodies up with your chords in some sort of, of way that is, uh, allows you to play a whole song by yourself. Um, you know, I always say piano players don't play chord melody and classical guitar players don't play chord melody. It's a kind of a, a made up term that describes this business that is somehow, because I'm not sure why, amongst jazz guitar players, a special um, technique. <laughs> But anyway, the idea is that, in my opinion, any kind of guitar playing that is self-contained and and can be played unaccompanied uh, is solo guitar. And that may include something that somebody might call chord melody, you know, something like, um, like this. <laughs> that or or whatever but that could also be played like this now that someone else might say well that's chord melody but there's a lot more going on than than a melody note on the top of a chord, for instance, that. But it is self-contained, and it is propelled by a time feel. If someone's listening to it, or they walk into the room and you're playing it, they're going to recognize it as good music, or kind of thing, right? Um, even though, I mean, I like chords, I like harmony, I like the beautiful orchestration of all of that together, um, there are beautiful classical pieces, for instance, that are just single note melody lines that represent the harmony. And you could say, that could also be solo guitar, why not? I'm, I could improvise, you know. That could also be solo guitar, as long as I'm playing it in a way that is is listenable and self-contained. And maybe if I'm playing in time, then my time is my time feel is good enough to put, to convey that time feel with just the single notes. And then I might also uh, want to play something that's you know very chord full. That's also um, solo guitar, <laughs> and it might someone who might say, "Oh, you're playing chord melody." So the idea is, is that uh, on my Patreon page or in my True Fire courses and on my pa uh, True Fire uh, channel and every other thing, if I say solo guitar, I just mean that it's you're by yourself, 
and that you're willing to uh, at least consider all of the musical considerations that one would um, utilize when playing a song or playing music that's to be listened to. <laughs> so, you know, you, you can do it all different sorts of ways, right? I mean, you could say that this, you know, <laughs> you could say that's solo guitar. Maybe usually there'd be someone singing or another person playing if you did that, but maybe not. Maybe you could come up with a composition that's based on, you know, folk strumming and have that be a instrumental piece. I don't think there's, uh, should be too many boundaries to this, but I do think that if we, you know, if we're dealing with performing music by ourselves, which is a very handy skill, by the way, these days especially, um, we want to be able to have it have a musical value, and, and we don't want it necessarily to feel like, oh, this is what I do, but I wish someone else was with me to do it, you know, <laughs> um, and so we have to deal with some issues of t our time feel and our harmonic uh, acumen and our ability to mix and match textures and those kinds of things. And whether you're playing with a pick or with pick and fingers or just fingers or with your thumb, all of those things don't create one thing or another. Like you don't say, oh, I'm playing with my thumb, so it must be chord melody, or I'm playing with my pick, so it must be lead guitar, or I'm playing with my fingers, so it must be finger style, something, something. No, I just like, you know, let's just guitar play. Why don't we just say that? It's just guitar playing. If you happen to be by yourself, then it's unaccompanied guitar playing or solo guitar playing. Anyway, I don't think there's any problem with any of these terminologies. I just don't want to share a little bit about how I feel about it because that's something that I like to teach about. All right. Hope that was helpful and fun. And uh, I'll do a little bit of solo guitar with my pick now. <laughs> ¶¶